Hello again. And nice of you to come back and join me if you've watched the face and now you want to do the eyes. Um, if you're just joining me to see the eyes, you can see the face on another video if you're interested. Um, you probably might not be, but it's there if you want to watch it. Don't force anyone into doing anything that they don't want to do. Um, yes, I'm doing my eyes, natural makeup. Um, just like a pinky brownie every day. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do my eyebrows, if I can find an eyebrow pencil. This is Liner Style Bourgeois in can't find out what the oh 42 brun okay so i'm just going to line the bottom of my eyebrow just to shape it up a little bit and through the end same with the other side And then along the top. Then get one of your little eyebrow grooming tools and just comb that through so it looks a little bit more natural and not all drawn on. I don't mind the drawn on look for evening, but for the daytime, if you just nip into the shops or something, you don't want something too strong. So that's those. It's a little bit too dark for me, that pencil, but hey ho. Right, eyes. I've got this lovely little palette here. And this is Wet and Wild, and it's Walking on Eggshells 380B. This was sent to me by another YouTuber called CC Marie. She also sent me some CoverGirl uh, Outlast foundation, which I'll do a review on at another time. Um, I did do it, but I managed to delete it, so I'll have to redo it again. Anyway, she sent me this one and a smoky silvery black one as well, which, again, I might show you. Um, she's really cool. I'll put her YouTube link in the description so you can go and follow her if you'd like to. And um, She's got a really cute American accent, so that's quite nice, isn't it? If you're English and you hate England, you can go and listen to people in America. I'm babbling now. So I'm going to use... It's very, very cool because it says... Uh, eyelid, crease, and then the top one says brow bone. So if you really don't know what you're doing, he's told you how to do it. But I kind of do, because otherwise I wouldn't be showing you how to do it otherwise. So, put some on. I'm just using like a flattish, fluffy brush. Tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to whack that all the way over the eyelid, like it said. Very shimmery pinky, this one. So, go sparing if you're not wanting to wear too much. The other side. As I say, this is a very quick everyday natural eyes. I'm not paying too much attention. Slop that on all over your eyelid. Right into the middle of your eye, a little bit in the corner there, right near the tear duct, so it just brightens your eye up a little bit. Now, the next one, crease, same brush, tiny weeny bit, and then using, using my eye, I'm not going to use my eye, apply this with your eye open, so put it in the outside corner there, and then just window wiper it over the top because if you do it with your eye closed and you go in your crease like that when you open it it's there's nothing there you can't see it because you've put it in the crease 
think when you open your eye you can't see anything so it's just a waste of time so do it with your eye open and you can do it in the crease but just pull it up a little bit so then you can actually see the colour that you're putting on and it's always better to do your makeup with your eyes open I find so I can see what I'm doing and then what I'm doing is I'm just bringing the makeup down in kind of like a V towards my lash line and a little bit more just concentrate that towards the outside edge do the other side, do this really quickly in case you're getting bored. Again, in a V shape. And bring it up as high as you want, depending on your eye shape. And then, just with what's left on my brush, I just run that underneath a little bit really close to the lashes okay blend in please blend people get yourself just a cheap fluffy brush from ebay like this one and then just blend it swoosh 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 unless you want to go for the really half and half makeup look you can I've, I've digged that before and well, it's just up to you what you do but I like to blend it so it's all nice and looks like one kind of nice shade so there can you see got this tiny little real techniques brush um, base shadow brush Gonna open this up again. Tiny weeny bit on the brow bone, just where the arch goes and towards the edge. Just a little bit. As I say, it's a daytime look, so I don't really want to have really shiny brow bones. Just blend it in with your finger if you put too much on, like I just did. There. Eyeliner. I'm just going to do my waterline, so turn away if you don't like people poking things in their eye, because that's what I'm just about to do. One. Two. This is... Oh, I've no idea. What is it? Smoky Black. Oh, Maybelline. Smoky Black. It's got a smudger on one end. And then the pencil on the other. It's a really good pencil. I think it's waterproof so it doesn't budge. And then what I do is just put it on the outside half. Because my eyes are quite round. So I just do it on the edges and then it makes them more cat-like. And then the same with the mascara. Maybelline Falsies. This is my favourite mascara at the moment. I'm sure lots of people like it. Um... My mascara on a lot of people do this and pull it all the way up I pull it out like that because as I say I've got round eyes so if I pull them out like this it makes them more cat kind of shape more oval rather than rounded pull it out 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 Can you see? So instead of my lashes curling up, they've gone outwards, so it elongates my eyes. And that's that. I'm not going to bother doing... Actually, I'll put a little bit on my bottom lashes, just for you guys. I wouldn't normally, on a day-to-day -day basis, put too much on the bottom lashes. Again, connect them, bottom lashes, top lashes it out to the side and that's that that is natural everyday eyes if you want to sometimes if I think I put too much mascara on just get one of your 
eyebrow combs and just comb them through it would just get any clumps off if your mascara is almost out of date I think you're supposed to throw your mascaras away um, what did they say like once every three months or something there I'll just get rid of that let's take this clip out I don't look like a complete moron There we go, so that's face and eyes, two separate tutorials, um, if there's anything you want me to show you how to do or anything you're interested in or if you've got any questions for me write them in the comments box, don't forget to subscribe, do the thumbs up if you like watching me, if you don't, don't and I'm going to now do a little tutorial on Georgie Bear because lots of you who know me or know George you want to know the story behind him so subscribe and you can come and watch that and I'm going to explain all about him and what's wrong with him and how he's doing etc etc so that's all for now that's my eyes and that's just a general day to day I oh, maybe I'll do a smoky one or something another time. So that's it. Speak to you all soon. Lots of love. Mwah.